All right, two of my mates that I've known for 20 years own a cafe and a catering business. They do all sorts of stuff like weddings and parties, functions, corporate lunches, all the mad stuff. And tonight they're having a, what's called a, I don't know how to say it, like a degustation night. Someone smarter than me will know how to say that. I have no idea, but they are certainly inviting me to come along with my lovely wife that was over there. That's now gone. She's probably left me for a nicer, younger, more handsome, more stunning guy. I don't think so, but yeah, I think she'd struggle. She wouldn't, I'm punching. Anyway, it's BYO, so I've got a few uh, dodgy drinks with me. Stone and wood, some weird beer thing, it's like passion fruit thing, I have no idea. And two uh, ginger beer things. I wasn't feeling like any wine tonight or anything like that, so we'll see how we go. I already drank two on the way in, but you know, anyway, let's go have a look. I'm gonna give you some behind the scenes access. Let's go in and say hello. Hey mate, how you going? on there mate? You good? Uh, yeah, you good mate. Is it, was it? Josh Dennis, yeah. Oh, okay. Goat's cheese, spiced pumpkin puree, and then uh, glazed uh, pumpkin seeds. So it's pretty pumpkin y. Very pumpkin y. <laughs> so all, all the pumpkins. <laughs> yeah. So much pumpkin. <laughs> Hello, I've just been quick and I'm going back. So welcome to M2 Kitchen uh, Degustation Night. It's our M2 Kitchen Classics menu. So it's just all time favourites, people that they really enjoy. And um, yes, so we're going to start with the snacks and then. Move on to our fire course. So, to start, we've got a petite pumpkin tart with uh, Meredith goat cheese and then, yeah, puree of spiced pumpkin and pump, uh, glazed sweet pumpkin seeds. Just with these shells, they're very light and fluffy, so just be nice with your touch. Just pick it up, bang. Nice and easy. That's pretty much it. All right. <laughs> Super delicate, super delicate, isn't it? Super delicate, yeah. Pick it up and go bang. Wow. Isn't that good? Oh. Is it good? Definitely, definitely pumpkin y, that's for sure. Beautiful. It's pretty standard, it's just um, strips of cal tender calamari. We tenderize it with a bit of kiwi fruit. Uh, roasted shallots and garlic. We, with a uh, roasted garlic aioli. So yeah, it's pretty standard, but it's really nice. It's a, everyone loves it. It's just a classic for us. And yeah, it's always a winner. I, that's my description that I did out there. I was just said it was like pretty, the tenderest, the most tenderest calamari, calamari in the world, in, the in all the lands. <laughs> so, and it, and it pretty much is. So. <laughs> Looks good. Mm. 
something so simple but yet so so good. flavours inside the actual meat and then you wash it off then in an oil which is like a pork fat oil oil we can use pork fat and then you put it at 90 degrees I think Mick already explained that didn't yeah, you? The, um, zero humidity yeah. overnight like yeah. 12 13 hours and you press it then you cut it salt it again sear it cook it and that's where you got at the end I think <laughs> probably missed another step there <laughs> Looks tasty as, mate, that's for sure. Some cabbage. The last call of course tonight is the dessert, obviously, and it is a cherry ripe. It's a take on the dessert we did last year, which is a, so it's cherry ripe 2.0, as you see on the menu, which is, so it's got, it's a chocolate ganache tart, a dehydrated cherries, a cherry meringue, Italian a cherry Italian meringue, a normal meringue cherry style, a cherry sorbet, a coconut base under the um, under the tart. There is salted co coconut flakes in it, and then I'll probably miss something else. I think that's it. <laughs> and there's a coconut crumb in there too. So enjoy. I think yeah. So it's more advanced. It's just an uptake from last year's that we want to keep stepping forward and trying new things. So I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, no, it's good, man. It's good. Cheers, guys. Enjoy. 
All right, that's it. I'm full. I've eaten about 40 plates worth of food. I look like I'm going to explode. I feel like I'm going to explode. I don't even know how you say it. Degustation. 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 Dego. Michael was calling it a Dego night. Dego night was mad. Degustation. I don't know. Dego night. Yeah.